Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my thanks indeed to David Gork, Exchequer Secretary to the Treasury. Um, just left for me, really, to um, give you some closing remarks. Um, I'd like to thank, on behalf of the Fraud, Error and Debt Task Force, all the speakers here today, the sponsors, also very, very grateful to everybody who um, gave a, a, a breakout session downstairs. I'd also very much like to thank each and every one of you for coming here today. Um, enormous thanks to the Fraud Erin Debt team, who you'll see are still wearing their red carnations, and, and grateful thanks to Catherine Davidson, my co-exec director uh, in ERG in the Cabinet Office, who has been uh, pioneering uh, fraud error and debt and making sure that it is on the agenda of, of, of ERG. So I'm very grateful and I'm very privileged to be taking on uh, the, the, the baton of leading the team now. And we have a team now uh, for, uh, for much of the time it was uh, two members uh, supporting Catherine in her wider uh, strategy remit, uh, Sanjay McIntosh and Sarah Story. I'm now very pleased to say that we've got a, uh, an established team in, in the Cabinet Office as well as all of our stakeholders in the uh, in central government who are assisting us. Um, if I could ask that you could complete the forms that are left on your chair, I would like to thank Dodds very much indeed uh, for doing all of the uh, bringing together of this conference. Um, I particularly want to thank thank the technical chaps in the corner. Um, as an ex-CIO, uh, it's always the piece that goes wrong, and I'm delighted to say that the technical aspects have gone very well today. Copies of the presentation slides will be on Civil Service Live, as I said earlier, and we will sure that you, ensure that you get email instructions on how to access those. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard from all the speakers and breakout sessions today that there, you can see there clearly is a huge amount of expertise, energy, and commitment to tackle the significant financial loss incurred through fraud, error, and debt. 38 billion ladies and gentlemen, we mustn't forget that number. And it's not a loss that just affects Her Majesty's government. It affects each and every single one of us in this room today. For perhaps too long, we have let structural and cultural barriers get in the way of tackling this effectively. We have huge support from the Prime Minister on this, as well as you've heard all four ministers who are part of the Fraud, Error and Debt Task Force here today. Um, that in itself is, is really displaying great commitment that we, we did have all of our ministers from the task force speak with, with you today. Um, and, and there really has never been a better time than this to break down those barriers that we perhaps have had in the past. The moment to come together with, with us on this journey, ladies and gentlemen, I feel really is now. Um, I, I was given a quote by a member of uh, a new member of the fraud error and debt team, which I wanted to share, which is an age-old proverb, which says, "When there is no enemy within, the enemies outside cannot hurt you." And I think that's truly very apt on this agenda. Collaboration and the sharing of knowledge is absolutely key to driving this agenda forward. Thank you very much indeed for your time, and we look forward to working with you in the future.